Elfie! Elfie! Sorry, can't stop. I'm late for work. Well, perhaps you'd like to take some of our buns with you. Oh! oh. oh, who left that door open? We made a few too many buns yesterday, so if you'd like them... Well, thanks. Thanks a lot. <laughs> oh, customers already? Oh. oh, who closed the door? Oh, sorry, love, I did. Oh, dear, does it hurt? <laughs> Let's just hope his nose isn't broken. Get on with more rounds. Hello. Looks like trouble. Uh, Tiffany, Max. Something the matter, G? Super Detective Max at the ready. What's the word, G? Looks like a burst water main over near the city hall. Well, that's for the fire service to deal with. Yes, but Frankie's already out on a job. Perhaps you'd better get down there to see what you can do. I suppose, though it's not going to do anything for my promotion. OK, team, let's get this show on the road. Uh, all systems, go, go! <laughs> Stop. Oh, look at that! It's like a fountain! Come on, let's play in it! No, Jumpy. No? Why not? Well, for a start, you're probably not supposed to. And you'll get wet. And you'll have to go home in sopping wet clothes. And you'll get cold. And your mum won't be pleased. Yes. But apart from that, why not? Because I say so. Now stand back, please, and let us deal with it. Come on, stand back. Nothing to see here. Oh, I can't see anything from here. Never mind, Jumpy. I'll tell you all about it when we've sorted it out. But I... I know. Huh. Where's he gone? Search me. Still, I think we'll be on our way too. Perhaps we should go and see if Dad's come back from hospital. Hospital? He bumped his nose. Oh, should be able to get a better look up this tree. <laughs> you home, Martin. Last one, there's a... Well, whatever the last one is, you're going to be it. Martin? Looks like someone must have dropped these. Most of them are for Bobby. Well, perhaps we better take them to him. Yeah, we can check on Dad later. And I reckon it's the work of a pickpocket. Well, a pick poucher, really. No, I don't... They were right here when I left, and there were a lot of letters for you, Bobby. Oh, were they? Don't know what they were for, of course. Well, it, it could have been... It's not your birthday, is it? No. Probably all to do with police matters. Well, if it is... Uh... And speaking of police matters... Well, if you just... I want something done about yeah, it. Uh, Kimmy? We can't have people walking... Kimmy? Hi, Bobby. Hi, Kimmy. Oh, hello, you two. Martin, Mia, you won't believe what's happened. Someone has stolen some letters right out of my pouch. Can you believe it? If it hadn't happened to me, I wouldn't have believed it. I mean, it's a disgrace. Well, it's more than a disgrace. It's a... a, 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 dis a di the letters! Where did you find them? On the pavement. Back there. Maybe they fell out of your pouch? Well, uh, I can't think how. I mean, I, mean, I, I wouldn't. Emergency! Emergency! What's up, G? It looks like someone stuck up a tree in Friend Park. This sounds like a job for the fire service. Oh, morning, Elfie. 
Why, Raph? Fancy a bun? No time for buns, I'm afraid, Elfie. You're needed over at Friend Park. Someone's got stuck up a tree. Oh, I bet I know who that is. Bye-bye, buns. See you later. <laughs> there. That seems to have done the trick. How did you know where the stop tap was, Max? I just used my head, Tiffany. It's my police training. Equips me for any emergency. Help! I want to get down! Jumpy! I'm stuck! Help me! Does your police training equip you for this emergency, Max? Oh, uh, yes and no, and mainly no. <laughs> no peace for the wicked, eh? Frankie and the team will sort it out. Hang on there, Jumpy. Frankie's on his way. That's it, Jumpy. Steady as you go. Easy, Elfie. Take it easy. Oh, thank you, Elfie. Thank you. Oh, uh, Jumpy, you're nipping me. Oh, sorry. And I was really, really brave. So, how did you get stuck up in the tree in the first place, Jumpy? Well, I wasn't stuck. I was just resting. Dad, are you all right? Oh, I'm fine. Just a bit of bruising. Well, I don't know. What with your nose and Jumpy up a tree and that burst water main. And Kimmy's lost letters. <laughs> The emergency services have been working really hard for us all today. Just like they always do. I think we ought to have a little party for them to say thank you for everything they do for us. Oh, yeah. Brilliant idea, Mum. It'll be the best party ever. A party? At the cafe. This afternoon. And so we'd all like to say a big thank you to Bobby and his team, to Barney and the fire service, and to Tina, Ted and... Hang on! Where's G? And Raph? Uh, I think I saw them heading toward Friend Park. It would have been nice to go to the party, wouldn't it, Raph? It would. Still, we can't help having such long necks. Mm. We'd never have fitted in the cafe. No. So we'll just have to have our own little party here. On our own. Just the two of us. Yes. There they are! Hello? Gee, Raph! Why didn't you come to the party? Well, like G said, we wouldn't fit into the cafe. Rather long in the neck department. Well, it wouldn't be a proper thank you party without you two. So we'll have it right here in the park. Yeah! <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, Mia, I can hear a scratchy noise. <laughs> it sounds like dancing mice. <laughs> we can hear secret things that nobody else can hear, Martin. We're the City of Friends spies. Come on, Mia, let's play spies outside. Don't move, Abby. I need to clean the mud off your wheels. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that tickles Ted. You'll soon be shining bright like a brand new ambulance. Then we'll get an emergency call out and you'll drive me through a puddle and I'll be dirty all over again. Great so, Abby. Yoo-hoo! Anybody home? <laughs> oh, what's in here? A trumpet? <laughs> hmm. 
skipping ropes. Whee! Earplugs. Wow, that tweeting is really loud when you hear it through the trumpet. My turn now, Martin. Boing, boing, boing. That has to be jumpy. Jumpy, what's the matter? Stop! I can't stop. Somebody's chasing me. There's nobody chasing you, Jumpy. Oh, he's scared of something. We'd better keep an eye on him. Jumpy! Wait! Hold on, Jumpy! Ah! What's that? It's a giant! With big feet! Ah! I can hear him breathing! There's no way we'll ever catch up with Jumpy. He's going like the wind. Petey! Stop! Stop! We've got a problem, Tiffany. Lucky for you I'm not on an emergency call. Otherwise I couldn't have stopped. Hop in and belt up. I feel great. City of Friends Ambulance Service. Okay, we're on it. Didn't I tell you we'd get an emergency call just as soon as I was clean? Sorry, Abby. Elfie's had an accident in the park. Oh, poor Elfie. I don't seem to have my stethoscope. Don't worry, Ted. You can use mine. We're trying to catch up with Jumpy. He's been jumping around all over town like a crazy thing. <laughs> so what's unusual about that? He looks scared. He says somebody's chasing after him. He's probably playing a game, Mia. I can't imagine Jumpy being scared of anything. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Did you know you've got a hole in your stethoscope? Oh, I'd no idea. Maybe I damaged it on the last job. I'm not happy about examining Elfie without the right medical instruments. Do you want me to go back to the hospital to get another stethoscope? No, we'd better not waste precious time. I just don't understand where I could have left it. Petey, give us a call if you spot Jumpy. Will do, Tiffany. Timber. We're looking for Jumpy, not chasing after rabbits. Oh, oh, ow! My trunk really hurts, Tom. Don't worry, Elfie. Abby's on her way with Ted and Tina. It was silly of me to go in the pond and squirt so much water around. Oh, Tiffany! How did you know we were here? We didn't. We were searching for Jumpy. Didn't I tell you the ambulance would be here soon, Elfie? Hey there, how's it going? She seems to have hurt her trunk. Don't you worry, we'll soon fix that, Elfie. We'll have you on your feet and fighting fires in no time. Oh, I hope so, Tina. Ooh, try not to move. <laughs> I don't want to stick the plaster in the wrong place whilst Tina's watching. You're doing just fine. Put your ear to our listening trumpet. You'll be surprised at what you hear. 
It makes everything sound really loud. Oh, I can hear birds singing. They sound like they're sitting next to me. Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> and now Timber's barking his head off. There you go, Elfie. Expect you feel better already. Oh, thank you, Ted. I can hear a really funny boing boing noise in your listening trumpet, Martin. Giants in the city of friends. Hey, Jumpy, where did you find my stethoscope? Wh what, Ted? I said, where did you find my stethoscope? Oh, uh, <clears throat> it, it was in your bag, in Abby. You took it without asking my permission? I'm sorry, Ted. It's really important that I have my stethoscope when I'm working. You must never do that again, Jumpy. Thanks for helping us. Take care of that trunk, Elfie. I'll not blow so hard next time. Oh, that's funny. I can't hear the giant anymore. <laughs> there never was a giant, Jumpy. You were running around town with Ted's stethoscope stuck in your ears. Stethoscopes make noises sound louder. Like this. <laughs> ah! The giant's back! It's just the noises in the park. The ducks quacking. And the birds in the trees. Oh, so there never was a giant. <laughs> I am a silly Billy. Bye. I promise I won't touch your stethoscope again, Ted. Glad to hear it, Jumpy. I should be on my way too. Come on, Timber. Woof, woof. Thanks for all your help, Tiffany. No problem. Bye, Timber. Bye, Timber. Woof, 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 woof. Shall we play spies? Let's play Jumping Giants instead. Aren't you fed up with that game, Jumpy? <laughs> Catch me if you can. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> Oh, 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 what's happening? Can you see what's wrong, Ted? OK, Tina, I'll check the electrical system at the back. It's strange, Tina. One minute I could hear the radio, the next minute, nothing. Um, fuse is OK. Power supply... Uh-oh, what have we got here? Do you remember exactly the same thing happened to you a week ago, Abby? Oh, I hope it's nothing bad. There you go, Abby. It was a loose connection. Same problem as last week. Hmm. Thanks, Ted. I do think it's time you had a check-up, Abby. Why? After Ted fixed me, we got to the emergency without any problem. That's true, but what you've got to remember is all the emergency vehicles have to be in tip-top condition. Are you saying I'm not good enough for the job, Tina? It's not just the loose connection, Abby. Oh. It's your intercom system, too. When it stops working like it did this morning, we can't pick up emergency calls, which means we're failing to do our job properly. Are you going to get rid of me and buy a smart new ambulance with a better intercom system, Tina? Of course not, Abby. There's no need to worry. All you need is a checkup, which I'll do first thing tomorrow morning. Oh, what if I fail the checkup? I'll be out of a job. I won't be Abby the ambulance anymore. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> He's gone! 
Do you think she might have been stolen? I'd better phone Bobby and the police crew. We might need a search party. Find Abby, Timber. Find! Look out for Abby the ambulance, Scoot! See anything, Petey? No sign of her, Bobby. Have you seen Abby Elfie? No, I haven't. Where could she have got to? Hmm. gave us a fright too, Jumpy. I'm searching for Abby. So are we. You've not come across her then? No, but I'll find her. Trust me. Because I'm the bestest searcher in the city of friends. <laughs> oh, I only hope somebody finds Abby soon, Ted. Any sign of Abby, Raph? Mm-hmm. Where could she be, dear? If I hide here, I won't have to have a checkup. Oh, I don't want to leave the city of friends. Oh. Abby, it's Frankie. Do you hear me? PG to Abby, where are you? Oh. Abby, speak to me. If I tell them where I am, they'll come and find me, and then I'll have to go for a checkup. If I hide in here, nobody will ever find me. Abby, please make contact immediately. We've driven round the city centre three times now. Not a sign of Abby. Oh, hey! Any luck, Jumpy? No, but have no fear. I'll find Abby, cos I'm the bestest searcher in the... Hello, hello, police! City of Friends police team. Oh, thank goodness. A child has fallen over and Ooh. hurt her back in Friends School. I've been trying to contact the ambulance crew, but I've had no luck, so I called you instead. Don't worry, sir. We're on our way. I'm sorry. Got to go to the school, Jumpy. <laughs> it sounds like a hospital case, Ted. If it's a back injury, the patient should remain flat. We need a stretcher. <laughs> We have a serious emergency. I know you won't fail us. Abby, we desperately need the stretcher. Um, uh, I've got to reply. I can't hide here in the forest when somebody in the city of Friends needs my help. Abby to Ted, hearing you loud and clear. Abby, I knew you wouldn't let us down. Give me the exact location of the accident, Ted. We need you to come straight to the... Oh. Abby's intercom is completely cut out. I didn't even have time to give her directions. Now what do we do? The best you can in the circumstances, Tina. Oh, I've got to track down the patient who needs my help. Oh. Oh. Oh, now this is ridiculous. I've no idea where anybody is. Tina was right. I do need to check up. What's the use of an emergency ambulance without a reliable intercom? We're just going to have to manage without the stretcher, Ted. You told me that we shouldn't ever lift anybody with a back injury, Tina. I know I did, but without the stretcher, what else can we do? I just can't believe that Abby would let us down when we need her most. situation, but I don't know where they are. Oh, I know exactly where they are, because I'm clever. I know that. Where, Jumpy? Where? Follow me, Abby. I am the bestest leader in the city of friends. <laughs> hmm. Oh, uh, lead on, 
相片，我一顿。Don't worry, we'll soon have you comfortable. Tina, is there anything we can do to help? Thanks, but there's nothing you can do, Tiffany. Hey! Abby! I found Abby. I found her. It was brilliant. Me that brought her here. <laughs> Thank you, Jumpy. You're very clever. Yeah, I know. I'm the bestest. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Abby. Help us get this patient to hospital. You're in safe hands. The best in the city of friends. Good job you came back, Abby. It was very, very silly of me to go away in the first place, Bobby. Don't worry, Abby. Ted's nearly finished your checkup. What if he finds something wrong with me, Tina? Then he'll fix it. It's that simple. Oil good. Brakes good. Water level good. Tires excellent. New battery brilliant. Oh. <laughs> Tina to all emergency crews. Receiving loud and clear, Tina. Abby wants a word with you. I've passed my checkup. Well done.、Yeah. <laughs> All you needed was a new battery to make your intercom system work. With your equipment in good working order, you'll be fine for years, Abby. You were right, Tina. The City of Friends emergency crews need to be in tip-top condition. An ambulance without an intercom system is about as much use as <laughs> Tina without a stethoscope or Ted without his bandages. <laughs> You're right there, Abby.